You know what I'm saying about man? We don't have the negativity, you know, because we don't want to everybody, you know. I want to you, want to you. Hey, boo, hey. Run down, oh. Run, <laughs> go run me down, no. Go on, Jack. Go run me down, no. Go on, Jack. You know, in Israel style and that, he's baller. Yo, some say a DJ come out and him DJ Nico. See? Selector. Come out and say, yo, 2025. Alkaline and Vibes Cartel. I go go at it. See? Blessed day, my people saying so today's video, we're going to talk about a popular producer and an artist manager getting conned up and taken out. And this actually happened in a broad day like my people, is it? 12 o'clock to be exact. Also, we're going to talk about Vibes Cartel Associates. Break silence after the entertainer felt ill recently while he was at the Mecca Night Club, you understand? So, we get a little bit of update as it relates to how Vibes Cartel is feeling right now, is it? And also, Vibes Cartel respond to the people em, who are talking about him, the junk, because that's what some of the people em, did I say. So, I'm going to show you the post where you make as well as it. Also, I'm going to talk about dancehall artist Quick Cook mourning the loss of his father after he was carned up and taken out while visiting his girlfriend or at his girlfriend's residence, I should say, as it, my people. So, I'm going to talk about it. And also, I'm going to talk about Sika Rhyme's girlfriend, dissing Queenie, after her name was seemingly called up during Queenie's divorce rant. And also, Mr. Dewey put out a song, well, a preview of your song, and the song basically had this Queenie. Boy, oh boy, doing it easy, you know. Also, we're going to talk about a makeup artist that was kind up and taken out at her home. Also, we're going to talk about dancehall artist Jamal Dunst addresses the world dark situation and also sends a warning to anyone who dares to step to him. Also, we're going to talk about popular selector DJ Nico predicting that Alkaline and Vibes Cartel will clash in 2025. So, a man basically respond to those claims. And basically, you know, I have a lot to say as it relates to that, you understand, so... I want to tell more anything. Also, I'm going to talk about dancehall artist Jay Kwan kicks off with the Rough Cut Band, and this was at the Sharkies event that kept two nights ago. So, before I'm going to further into the topics, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and click the notification bell, put it on all, that way you can get notified when I post a new video. So, the first thing I'm going to talk about is some sad news as it relates to a popular producer that was carned up and taken out. You understand, know, people? And this producer, some of you might not know about him because he's not really. You know, big out there, but me see like him. I work with some artists where we know you understand me. I say, me see like him. I work with I did work with an artist named Craft. Everybody know Craft. Um, the youth named Enans Zane, and also it seemed like him actually managed the artist Dove Magnum. Yeah, see my people, not a hundred percent sure, but me see it on him Instagram page. And the producer we are talking about him go by the name of Zebu Zebu876. You understand me, I say, my people. And this post was actually sent in by um sent in our pink wall yeah see me and they must say yo the music producer that the entire country knows was kind of taken out last wednesday at 12 noon and not even a yellow tape at this crime scene and not one social media post or news outlet covered it in jamaica yes it so that person yeah, speak out and i said boy you know the producer yeah, that is kind of popular Nobody never not talk about him, nobody not post about him or nothing like that, you see me? But I see some people that say, oh, they never hear about him before and them something, you see it? But as I say, some of them might hear about him, some of them might not hear about him. But I see artists over there like Suspense and some other people, you know, I write R.I.P. And, you know, some of them can't believe, say, him actually get conned up and taken out. You see my people? Down to the other day, um... When Vibes Cartel did there at the club, um, what them name 420 Club, he was actually there as well. You see me, come see him post a video, and you can see say he was like close to where Vibes Cartel was, and you don't know Joshy was there as well. You understand? So is that like the producer know Joshy, and you don't know as me say he was there when Vibes Cartel was there. You see my people, so almost our condolences. Um, you know, very unfortunate situation and thing. And I hope the police them catch whoever is responsible for this. Yes, it. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is the update that we're getting as it relates to Vibes Cartel. Come, I know the Gaza fans them want to know if the entertainer are right because, of course, when you see the video when Cartel did I get rushed out of Mecca, seeing that at the nightclub, the famous nightclub, and you don't know say, you know, the entertainer never feel well and stuff. You see me so. 
these are the update right about now. So the article is saying, Vibes Cartel doing fine after feeling ill or falling ill in nightclub. Dancehall star Vibes Cartel is doing fine after he fell ill while partying at the popular nightclub in Kingston on Monday night. The artist, who had been diagnosed with Graves disease, disease during his time in prison, apparently began feeling unwell as patrons around him fanned him with rugs. A video showed the fever DJ being assisted by two security guards who bookend him as they transported him outside towards a waiting car. On Tuesday, a source close to cartel told Dan Salmag that the DJ is doing fine. It was just dehydration and the heat of the persons pressing around him. Cartel is fine right now. They added, some online commenters speculated that excessive partying and alcohol may have contributed it. One remarking, too much partying and drinking. He needs to rest, lay back and focus on his health. Another suggested why he think drinking alcohol is great for his health though. Others were less pessimistic in their outlook adding, see a drunky man drunk. The man all a smile when he left the club. One comment suggests that Cartel needed to admit that he was a middle-aged man saying, the body needs proper healing. I'm sorry, but the body isn't young anymore. Stay home and relax with Sidem. In May 2023, it was disclosed that the incarcerated DJ had been battling Graves disease and other health issues, including heart conditions. His legal team suggested that for more than half of his incarceration, Cartel was reportedly battling Graves disease under conditions many call inhumane. Cartel physician Dr. Karen Phillips made sworn statements in court that cartel heart function was below normal and that he could have a heart attack at any time or even die in his sleep. With Graves' disease, your immune system attacks your thyroid glands, causing it to make more thyroid hormones than your body needs. As a result, many of your body function speeds up CDC as a result of the overproduction of thyroid hormones, otherwise known as hypothyroidism. Symptoms of the autoimmune disease include bulging eyes, gritty sensation in the eyes, pressure or pain in the eyes, puffy or retracted eyelid, enlargement of the thyroid glands, and frequent bowel movements, among other symptoms. So yes, my people, that's what's going on. Vibes Cartel is getting some serious advice from the people. Them. But me personally, obviously, I'm not a doctor. Me can't predict anything. But I feel like maybe I did really dehydration. You see me? I don't think it have nothing to do with anything else. But as I say, I am not a doctor. My word is obviously not the gospel, is it? But only can tell more anything about this. If you don't have any advice for the cartel, only can write it in the comment section, is it? I remember my telling us a vibes cartel did make a post responding to the people him what about say him did drunk and you know the alcohol and them type of thing there. Well it make a post on him Instagram status saying can champagne make someone drunk with a question sign no mother's cunt hashtag the heat worse yes it so remember you know them say the heat why him you know did feel a way there and also them same they dehydrated or whatever so cartel say a champagne him did a drink so it can't make him drunk and you know so i guess that for the people and what about him did drunk and all these things so that or that anyway my people let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section and since what about cartel recently popular dj dj nico predicted that vibes cartel and alkaline are gonna clash in a 20 25 right my people more and if you know that want to see that clash there more only tell me yes or no and why yes or no in the comment section is it so a man basically a counter rock with dj nico i say and say the fans them the real true gaza fans them don't want to see alkaline because according to this man and people i am not agreeing or disagreeing with what this man is saying but according to him cartel clashing alkaline will only make alkaline relevant so him say alkaline relevant then basically Anyway, let us get to this video. Only can tell me if you're not angry or not in the comment section. Mm -hmm. Yo, some say a DJ come out and him DJ Nico. See? Selector. Come out and say, yo, 2025. Alkaline and Vibes Cartel. I go go at it. See? Yeah. Him say Alkaline and Vibes Cartel. I go go at it. Yo, DJ Nico. I don't know where you get your prediction from, you know. See? But, I don't know if you want Alkaline to be relevant. But we're not interested in another clash there. You see what I'm saying, brother? Yeah. 
we the fans, real fans, we not interested in other clash there. So DJ Selector Nico, this one is for you. We are not interested in a clash between Alkaline and Vibes Cartel. We are not. Movado and Cartel is a column for themselves. Beanie and Bounty Killer is a column for themselves. So you see, Massacre and Alkaline is the perfect clash right there. So, so me know why you say Alkaline and Vibes Cartel for 2025. We make alkaline to be relevant. We are not interested in that clash, my brother. We are not. Okay? Yeah. We're not interested in a vibes cartel and alkaline. No. We are not interested in it. So I'm gonna know where you come out, go and do an interview I say, yo, you see 2025? Alkaline I gotta throw some shot. A vibes cartel. 2025 I'm gonna be vibes cartel and alkaline here. Bad man. I don't know if you are trying to put something in at the ear. For alkaline. Try something. But we are not interested. No. If I saw you want alkaline to be relevant. We are not interested. I am not saying alkaline is not relevant. No we know. But. We are not interested in that clash. Okay. The clash that we are interested in. Is to build two separate columns. In dance hall. And that column. Is Massica and Alkaline. Yeah. But I'm not lie still, you know. You know, say. I don't hear about Massica no more. Yeah. And at this Massica, have to be careful, you know. You remember when Massica used to drop some one and two songs for the entire year? Massica, have to be very careful when I do that now, you know, because you see, being that Vibes Cartel is out. He must be very careful because he will just last, you know. Yeah, he will just last because me tell him this, you know. Massacre know this himself. Massacre fans is Gaza. I am telling you. Everyone I'm abridging them will bring Massacre. Them is a Gaza fan. Diarty Gaza. But them say Massacre are them artists as well along with Vibes Cartel. So Massacre have the Gaza fans. So I don't know why. Massica is afraid to clash Alkaline because Massica have Gaza fans behind him. Alkaline now have Gully fans, you know. Alkaline might think they have Gully fans behind him. But if not have Gully fans behind him, may I tell you? Gully fans them rate cartel and Gaza fans them rate Movado. May I tell you? May I tell you? They are like brothers and sisters. Vendetta fans stand alone. Yeah, man. Me I tell you. Me I tell you the truth. Yeah, man. Gully fans them no believe in alkaline. No. Them no believe in alkaline at all. Because me have three gully friends. Yeah. I ask them about alkaline. The man say, no, dog. If I'm a gully, I can't tell. I mean, I say, yeah. So I say, so I'm too alkaline. The man say, no, dog. I'm not upon the bad thing. No, dog. No, dog. I'm not upon the bad Watch things. So me I try to tell you say, the gully fans them. If I'm a gully, a vibes cartel. See them for the Gaza. If I'm a Gaza, a gully them say. Me I tell you, yeah man, our bounty killer. I that them tell me, yeah. So, do you know, Nico, Nico, yeah, Nico, DJ Nico. Shut the f see because nobody no want to see that clash there. We not interested in that clash there. So if I that clash they are way pan for make alkaline to be relevant, it not gonna be relevant. You see what I mean? I say that the clash where everybody wants to see is massacre and alkaline. And you know what? You know the fact when cartel did their prison, you, know, you see if massacre did just war with alkaline, it wouldn't be the talk of the show, you know. Yes, it wouldn't be the talk of the show because look there, cartel come out and all they can hear. Cartel alkaline. Cartel alkaline. It's like Massica near Miss Nota the, the whole thing. And Massica a big artist. Massica a big artist. And you know your name. But at that of the thing, Massica should unclash. So here was Massica. 
ask you with the clash the man show the man say you are the man show the man more time I wonder why Masika do gunman song Masika do gunman song and him now show the potential say him can put pen to paper and sing it in a clash but I believe in him you know I believe in him but Nico Nobody not interested in your 2025 20, wish or dream where you think I will come true. We are not interested, bad man. So if that you think you're gonna make alkaline stay relevant, it not gonna happen. And Gaza fans, Gaza fans them also, please, please, I uno also I help make alkaline stay relevant, you know? Yeah man. Because if you hear a song, you might say, John, I'm just this vice cartel. You know, say if you don't say that, nobody not look upon the song. Because look upon, I'm dangerous. I'm dangerous. When me say, I you know, say it not gone away. You not even, it reached 400 yet. I not even think it reached 400,000. So that me I try to show you, you know, say. If you don't look upon the song, it not make no numbers. It not gone nowhere. So on a stop, come back and say, yo, Alkaline just this wife's cartel. Jano, Jano, Jano. If you don't say that, him song them not gone nowhere. You don't shut to them out and make, them do them thing over the side there. Eh? And Uno do the phone thing over the side there. Eh? You see what I mean? I say? Yeah, I'm out. Alright, my people. So as I say, I want to know if you think a clash is going to happen. Do you want to see a clash between Vibes Cartel and Alkaline? And people, I am not saying that I want to see a clash, you know. But if it happens, hey, what am I to do but enjoy the entertainment, right? Who you feel like would have win the clash? That's one of the questions more ask. And this is not me dissing any of the artists then because I am a big fan of Vibes Cartel and I am a big fan of Alkaline. But listen, everybody music, I am not signed to anyone. If you don't get what I say. Anyway, you don't feel like the clash is going to go on. If it's not going on in a 2025, you don't feel like it's going to happen in a 2026 or any time after that. Or anything cartel now, PA, Alkaline or Minor. You know, we're anything about this. And of course, Alkaline name has got to be mentioned overall because Alkaline are big bad artists and nobody can take nothing away from the entertainer, is it? Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Next thing we're going to talk about is some sad news as it relates to a dancehall artist, Quick Cook who is now mourning the loss of his father, you see it. So let me get to, um, you know, the story so I understand what's going on, you see it. So it's a quick quote mourning the death of his father in St. Mary. Dancehall artist Quick Cook is mourning the death of his father, Michael Mickey Lumley, who was carned up and taken out by unknown assailants in St. Mary last night. The man celebrating birthday Sunday and them take him out on Heroes Day. This tragic my day overseas and get the news is a real hero. Him dead pan him birthday week. But my fans and my colleagues, may I get you a prayer for my family right now, this dark time or in this dark time. Quick cook, quick cook told Dan Salmag. Police reports are that Lumley, a 61-year-old farmer from Enfield, St. Mary, was kind up and taken out while visiting his girlfriend in um, Anata Bay. The incident took place around 7.15 p.m. While the deceased was reportedly sitting in the yard, it is alleged that a silver Toyota Axio motor car stopped at the gate. Two men alighted from the vehicle, entered the yard and approached Lumley. The G-men then reportedly opened car and hitting him in his left shoulder before escaping in the waiting motor car. Lumley was taken to the Anata Bay Hospital where he was pronounced dead. No one else was injured in the attack. It is believed that Lumley M. U R D E R. It is a result of a gang violence in the era. Yes, my people. So, very sad situation. You don't know me. Just want to condolences to Quick Cook Father and thing and thing as it. So, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So, the next thing we're going to talk about is dancehall artist Jay Kwan kicking off with the rough cut band while he was performing at the Sharky's um, Sharky Seafood. Then they have some event or something the other day. You see me? But they actually play a video yesterday where Chronic Lad did a big up world dog you don't know say popcorn did pass through as well popcorn did touch the stage and perform and them something they understand so apparently while jake wanna perform him and the bandsman them kick off you understand me i said drummy get mad and be things are going my people is it now i'm gonna play this video and uh, uno can tell me only thing wrong in this case you understand um drummy or or should I say rough cut bands are the artist J Kwan. You see me? I remember one night time when Pablo YG did a perform at I don't remember which event. 
Um, one of them events there, I don't, I don't, a sound face, I don't remember, but Pablo YG, you know, him and Jummy did kind of go at it a little bit. I don't know if you remember that, but anyway, check out the clip here, only can tell me anything. Mm. <laughs> Father, I'm a man. 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 i Watch it now, you're not a brother, you're not a you're not a sitter. Yeah, go on, keep my number. Watch it now, you're not a sitter, 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 you're not a you are not a you are not a you are you are not you are you are not you are you are you Yeah, my people, so that's what's going on. And you know, at the end of the day, still, the artists have to show the bandsman them respect. And likewise, the bandsman them are for sure the artist respect. Cause you know, them them are work with each other. So we don't really love the division thing, my people. So you don't know with us hope everything is everything and that's all I'm gonna say about. Let me know anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is Lieutenant Stitch's wife, who is expressing some gratitude. Of course, and I don't know, say the entertainer is currently in the hospital and them thing, is it? So let me get to this story so I can understand what's going on, is it? So the story is saying Lieutenant Stitch's wife expresses gratitude for support amid gospel veterans health battle it's tougher than steel right now is how sophia leng the wife of cleveland lieutenant stitchy leng on thursday described the financial needs of the reggae turned gospel artist who is now in a rehabilitative facility following a severe brain hemorrhage that had previously left him unresponsive it is indeed hard Hard is not even the adjective right now. This is really hard for us right now. Despite what we are going through, I am still giving thanks because one of the songs that Stitchy sings and persons love that song, Lord, I thank you for today. And regardless of what we are going through, we give thanks. And for this to happen to such a stalwart and energetic individual and to see where he is at, it's really heartrending, Leng said, giving an update on the ailing gospel figure. He is more alert than he has ever been. We give God thanks for that. No words, no nothing verbal, but he's moving his lips as if he wants to respond. It's no words, but we give God thanks, she said. Addressing the family need to turn to fundraising, his wife spoke of how expensive medical treatment can be. When sickness comes, you'd be surprised to see how quickly it wipes out whatever you have, she said. She was speaking during a handover of $150,000 from the Sterling Gospel Music Awards, which was pulled from donations made at the October Award Ceremony. Around $100,000 was donated by guests at the Sterling Gospel Music Awards, which was matched up to half by the organizers of the event. Leng also established a GoFundMe for Lieutenant Stitchy, which to date has raised $22,000 US dollar, well, $22,530 US dollar of its $100,000 goal. Earlier this month, fellow entertainer Rodney Bounty Killer Price Bounty Foundation donated US $10,000, which is $1.5 million Jamaican dollars to the cause for the artist who turned 59 on September the 29th. Leng also thank everyone else who donated, such as Paris Funeral Home, Gospel Veteran Gaddy Gaddy, Pastor Ryan Mark, and Pure in Heart Ministries DJ Nicholas and Reggae Icon Burning Spear. Speaking after the handover, she said God had already started 
did the healing process with Luton and Stitchy after all the risk associated with the surgery he underwent on August the 15th. Leng said when she saw Luton and Stitchy coming on the bed after the surgery, she rejoiced and said, Lord, thank you. That's one victory. When you engage him in a conversation, you see him moving the lips as if he wants to respond. She said, we give God thanks. He's able to move his hands. He's recognizing voices and he's just there now waiting and we just ask God to just give us the patience, the grace to be patient and to wait for what he is doing in Stitch's life because we are all people of faith and we believe one of these days when I walk into that room, I am going to see him sitting up in that bed and saying, Warm well, Sophie and I'm looking forward to that. God acts upon the desires of our hearts and I believe that whatever God is doing, he's going well and it is well because whatever he does, it's quite well done, she said. So yes, my people, that's not the full story. If you don't want to read the full thing, you can go check it out on the Jamaica Gleaner. But you don't know, we still have to give thanks to Luton and Stitchy. You know, even though you might not hear what you want to hear, but at least it, the progress is coming on. You understand? I guess you can say slowly, but surely. Is it. So the people who pray for Luton and Stitchy, continue to pray for him, continue to support the family. You don't know, I want our veteran artist. So we just hope say things can be put into place for help out Stitchy, whether some concert keeper or something just for help raise money, for help out the entertainer. You understand? So let me know anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is dancehall artist Jamal Dunst sending a message to some people who feel like they can run up on him. You understand? And him did a talk about the whole um, Shalom situation. Situation. Cause I remember Shalom was the first person on TikTok we see get rush. Shalom jump off in the water or river or whatever you want to call it. You see me? Shortly after that, you don't know the world dog situation go on. And we see where a world dog get caught in him hand, seeing him the surgery and all of that. And we also see where the other youth pass away, seeing the youth named Joe. And then now we see one other TikToker where they in a um him they in a some other foreign country, seeing him get con. And I believe him, woman get can up or something like that. So you don't know, <laughs> Jamal don't see those uh, talk about, you know, the little situations them um, as it relates to World Dog and Shalaman. You know, I have a warning for saying to anybody who feel like they can run up on him. Listen this. Don't spend a good chance. What do you miss the run down Shalom? River. What do you run down World Dog? A bullet. Yeah. Run down who? Run, <laughs> go run me down now. Go <laughs> run me down. Go run me down. You know, Israel style and that. Uh, he's bowler. Bow my job. Run me down. HL. No wicked like me. I show my love for when I come out there and bother myself. Call some man of this man in here. I'm just getting a 5,000 more top up man and tell him to link me. I don't know, see it like wipe on half I face. Long belly, I don't know. Lower life, big belly, right? Bum, bum, you know. See you know. Make him on. All right, my people. So that's what Jamal don't have to say. Any boy run up. Hmm, you know what I'm going to go on, is it? Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Sikarim's girlfriend, dissing Queenie. Yes, my people, our alleged, our rumored girlfriend, we don't even know what to call it, is it me? And yes, the girl who we are talking about is none other than Momo, which is Dewey's ex-woman, our alleged ex-woman. Boy, we don't even know. Some of them people, it's hard for pretty care for them, they really there or not, because Mrs. She and Dewey are going with themselves and kiss and them thing there, and she come out and say them never really there or whatever but anyway you know say queenie and do it them are go through them divorce now the divorce i guess it's finalized so it's almost finished completely you understand queenie put up the screenshots and stuff but you don't know queenie are rant right now she had the pa, um instagram live and a speak out and it kind of seemed like she call up that woman and name momo and she does one Queen if you call up, do a name and leave her out of the whole situation, you see me? So basically she make a post, Momo make a post saying, Psst, Queenie, cuss your husband and low out my name, please. I'm trying to enjoy my relationship with Sikarems in peace, thanks, management or whatever, you see my people. So you don't know, she says she try to enjoy her relationship with Sikarems, which it sound like a dead em there, I don't think a, you know, obviously if she says she try to enjoy her relationship with Sikarems, uh, I must there. This not sound like a you know, music thing and Momo is not an artist, so obviously I did them there. You understand my people. 
I remember me telling you, said, the way put out a song, Zane. Well, him not put out the full song yet, and it looked like a video got come out for it or something. But you don't know, he must say some things as it relates to Queenie. And, you know, he must say, why every woman him, you know, brush, it, it burn Queenie and Queenie time up and all these things. He must have a whole heap of things to say my people. So, I could play a little preview that he posted on his Instagram, um, his Instagram page. Watch this. My cocky concern you. Why every girl me keep burn you. When you don't get your time or your term up. Yeah, man. So, in the caption, him say, in a real life, why it really concern you. And he write some other little things, but what do you think about this? Boy, oh boy. I know some of you probably never think that this day would have come and think, but you know what I think? Go. Here's it. Um, I don't know if you say Queen Edward, dirt as well. So, you know. <laughs> Even though me is a man still, I don't really agree with this or do we do. You see it, you know? Regardless. You know, if you move your way, you move your way and thing, you know, as a man. But you don't know. I guess in a few them eyes, this is kind of entertainment. I don't know. Anyway, let me know anything about this in the comment section. But anyway, let me know anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is some sad news as it relates to a makeup artist that was carned up and taken out my people. You see me? At her home to be exact. So let me get to this story so you can understand what's going on. So the story is saying, makeup artist taken out at home. My mother gone, my father gone, my sister gone. I just me now. Those were the only words Sheridan Mitchell could find to express his grief merely hours after his sister 28 year old Shaquilla Mitchell was carned up and taken out at her home along Jordan Road off Maxfield Avenue in St. Andrew on Sunday night. Mitchell told the news team that he had left Shaquilla a budding makeup artist at Keller Custom Faces at their home to go to the Norman Manley International Airport. Upon his return he was greeted with the gut wrenching news of his sister's demise. She always outside she and her friends them. Right at the gate, me left her, and when I come back, me see the crowd down the road. Me I say, that look like a right at my gate. When me come closer, me see her upon the ground and everybody a ball. The elder sibling related, clutching a cup of mint tea tightly. The first meal he had since 9 a.m. Monday. Mitchell stood emotionless. The loss of his sister follows the death of his father in 2020 and his mother in 2008. Police reports from the Constabulary Communications Network details that about 7.40 p.m. Shaquilla was standing at her gate when she was pounced upon by unknown assailants who fired Khan at her. The police were summoned and she was taken to hospital where she was pronounced. The Hunts Bay police are investigating. So yes, my people, very, very sad situation. Managaronia and boy, you lose your mother, you lose your father, and now you lose your sister, Jaja. Ah, boy. People, let me know anything about this. And, you know, let's just hope that the police them find who is responsible for this. Is it? Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself. Until I drop the next video, I'm out.